everybody. It's almost the Uteranus King here with part two of the Sapphire Limited Prehistoric Shark Tube Review. So Scapularancus, which is this guy here, lived in the Cretaceous period, even into the late Miocene and Eocene. It was a prehistoric goblin shark, it grew about two meters long. I lived in England and all over the world. This model in particular isn't necessarily the best colour scheme. I don't think it's very accurate at all. Um, it is a very nice Cretaceous shark to have in your collection if you like Cretaceous marine animals such as myself. As in, I like Cretaceous marine animals. Uh, now this one I completely forgot about. This is a primitive shark, definitely. This is a uh, Clado Salaki. He lived in the Devonian period and was food for things like Dunculosteus, but also ate things like Stethocamphus. Hybodus here. The Hybodonts are the most successful group of sharks. Um, Hybodus evolved in the Permian and going extinct in the mid Cretaceous. Very cool shark. And we get to the bad boy. The Gensu shark, in my opinion, or also known as the Cretoxirana, is the most dangerous shark to ever have lived. It's a pack hunting shark, going up to the same size as a female killer whale, so about 7 meters long, and uh, hunted and packed up to 6 individuals. No animal was safe apart from Mosasaurus and Prognathodon. This shark is a beast. That's all today. Goodbye.